How to back up your website, the best method. There are several ways that you can back up your website and I have or will have how to guides for each method on my YouTube channel. Today I'll show you my favorite method which gives you the most control over your website and its files. There are two parts to backing up your website if you're using something like Joomla, WordPress, or some other type of content management system. Part one deals with backing up your website database. This is where your actual content gets stored. Many people think that their content is inside their public HTML folder on their web server, but this is not how most newer websites are built anymore. If you are running Joomla, WordPress, or some other popular CMS website, that's database driven, your content resides inside the database. So make sure to back up your database often. Part two of this how-to tutorial deals with backing up your actual files that are stored in your public HTML folder on your hosting company's web server. Usually the public HTML folder contains your image files, website software, plugins, extensions, modules, and components. Again, content is usually not stored in these folders, so keep that in mind. Part 1. Backing up your website database. First, you'll need to log into your cPanel to access the PHP MyAdmin tool located under the Databases folder. This tool is the control panel for your website database, and it's not that hard to use. You just have to get used to it. Click on PHP My Admin. On the right hand side, you will see a list of databases. One of them will be Information Schema, which we will not touch, and the others will be your actual database. Select your database. Now you'll see a list of database tables. Each table contains records or content that's needed for your website to work properly. Since we clicked on your database name, we are ready to export the file and back it up to your local computer. I suggest that you do this often, especially if you or your website visitors produce lots of new content. Simply click on the export button from the top toolbar. I always leave the default option selected when I import or export my databases unless I'm instructed to do otherwise. I suggest that you leave everything in its default position as well. All we have to do is click go and then we will be prompted with a dialog box for us to choose the download location of our website database. Choose your folder and save the database locally. That's it. You just backed up your website database to your home computer. Now I'll show you how to import your database. For this section of the how-to guide to work, your database should be empty, otherwise the import will fail. I will quickly empty my database so I can show you how the import process works. It's really simple. Up on top, I select my database name. Now I have a list with a whole bunch of tables with checkboxes. What I'm going to do is select all the checkboxes by clicking on the option Select All on the bottom of the screen. Now since I have all my database tables selected, I can either drop the tables which will completely delete all the tables, or I can select empty, which will leave the tables there, but they will be empty of their content. Both options will work to accomplish the task of importing the database. But for this particular scenario, I will drop the tables, which will delete all these tables from my database. I'm going to drop the tables by selecting drop from the drop down list. Now a confirmation message appears asking me if I really want to delete all the tables that I selected. I'll click yes. Now all the tables are gone, meaning that my website is currently down. Now I'll simply import the database file that I exported earlier and everything will be back to normal. I'll click on import from the top toolbar. Now I'll choose file and navigate to my website database backup file. Once I select it, I will simply click go at the bottom of the screen. Notice the green pop-up message at the top of the screen stating that the database import was successfully finished. Now I'll simply test my website just to double check that everything went as planned. Yep, everything works perfectly. Well, that's how you back up your website database. Part 2. Backing up your actual website files. 
For this part of the tutorial, I recommend that you obtain an FTP program such as FileZilla or QFTP. These programs will make the following section easy. FTP programs are available for Macs, PCs, and Linux computers. I'm using FileZilla to access my website. So here's my public HTML folder in the right hand column. Okay, this is my actual website. In the left hand column, I have my local drive where I save my backups. So let me go into here because I'm actually going to back up a subdomain. So I'm not going to back up the whole public HTML folder because I have several websites. So here's the subdomain, couchyskitchen.com. And look how simple it is to download these files to your local computer. So over here, I'm actually going to place this in my 2012 directory on my D drive, okay? So I simply grab this folder and drag it over here to the left hand column. See all the stuff that's happening right here? These things just zooming right along. All these files are now being copied directly to my local computer. Once this finishes, I'll have a complete copy of everything that's on my web host for this particular website. So in this tutorial, I showed you how to import and export your database and also back up your files. Now this FTP program also allows you to copy files from your local computer to your web host. Just basically doing everything in reverse. You just drag from the left hand column to the right hand column. If you like videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, YouTube slash Home Edition. I have a lot of useful how-to videos on how to work with database tables and how to back up and restore content from database tables. That way, you won't have to bring your entire site down if the table only affects a small portion of your website. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you become a subscriber. By the way, I answer every question that people leave in my comments section. So if you have a question, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.